Hi, this is Ama Brew from Empowered for Balance. In today's video, I want to talk to you about how you should not define your self-esteem by external factors, all right? And external factors are things like, you know, marital status, um, income, possessions, what you own, you know, if you own a house or you don't own, you're sick or healthy, you know, these are all circumstances, you know, in life, things happen, you know, one day you may be well, the next day you may be sick. One day you may have a high paying job and maybe the next day you may be fired. One day you may own a home and maybe something might happen and then you might lose that home. And when these things happen to you, are you going to look down on yourself because something bad happened to you you know you are worth what you're worth no matter what you're going through right now we're going through a pandemic and many people have lost their jobs many people are sick many people have lost loved ones you know you're still worth what you're worth because you were made in the image of god and god created you for a purpose so it doesn't matter what you're going through today it doesn't matter what you know has happened in the past. It doesn't matter what uh, society has told you you're worth. You are worth what you're worth and you're worth who you are, who you are on the inside, not what you're going through on the outside. When your self-esteem is, is built on what you have on the outside or what's going on on the outside, you would always have a fluctuating self-esteem because when things are bad and things are not working, everything just goes low and you don't value yourself and when things are good and you reach that level or that standard that society has set for you then you feel like you're worth it but whether you're down whether you're going through some form of tribulations or trials whether you're going through some form of challenges you are a worthy woman because you were made for a purpose god made you for a purpose so Please stop defining your self-esteem by external factors and define your self-esteem by internal factors as in who you are as a person and the good that is in you. Every woman on earth has her own unique set of skills, abilities, strengths, weaknesses, capabilities, disabilities. No woman on earth is perfect. There's nothing like a perfect woman. So you might see society or social media or the media out there projecting certain images to you. And because you see it and you feel like you don't have those things, you're not worth it. All I have to tell you is that you're worth it. You are worthy. You may not have these things. You may not have these material possessions, but you're still worth it because you were made by God for a purpose and you, God has a reason for creating you. You are here for a purpose. You are not on it for nothing. All right. So please stop defining your self-esteem by external factors. And when you get to that point where you are able to define your self-esteem by your core of who you are and what, you know, the strengths, the abilities and these things that God gave you and the good in you, even when things get bad, even when life gets challenging, even when, you know, you lose your income or even when you get sick or a loved one gets sick or you lose people or somebody dies, even when um, you don't have those designer bags. I'm not saying designer bags are bad. No, I love designer bags too. But even when you don't have these things, you will still be worth it. Esteem. If your self-esteem is tied to a designer bag, and let's say something happens and you can't afford that designer bag anymore. Are you going to look down on yourself? That is the question that I have for you today. So let us stop defining our self-esteem by external things. And before I go, I just want to say that if you have struggles with your self-esteem and you keep, you know, um, defining your self-esteem on external circumstances which i am more than happy to you know hear your story and work with you send me a dm at empowered for balance on facebook and instagram or send me a message on my website at www.empoweredforbalance.com contact and 
I will be more than happy to have a conversation with you about what's going on with you, what your struggles are, and what strategies we could put in place so that you can start defining your self-esteem by your internal and inner core and by what, you know, who you are as a person and on what you're going through on the outside, which is external circumstances and external factors. Again, this is Amma Brew from Empowered for Balance. I wish you all the best and have a lovely day.